guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lala bello i hope you're feeling my look if you are just hold on stay tuned and watch this video because i'm going to show you how i achieve this look it's kind of a get ready with me video so i'm gonna show you guys what i use on my face when i wake up and what i use after taking my baths the products i use on my face that gives me the flawless look i'm gonna proceed to my makeup routine and after that i'm just gonna lay my front edges for you guys to see and i hope you will enjoy the video so keep watching guys so these are the products i use i use either of these three i don't use all of them together i just use them interchangeably and i'm just gonna use this one oil free acne wash i'm gonna apply some parts of it some portions of it on my face and then i'm gonna blend with my facial brush I'm just gonna blend it in a circular motion and then when I get to my under eye area I'm just gonna blend it in an upward direction So I like to extend it to my neck area so I can have even tone um, both my face and my neck, you know, because if I apply on just my face, I'm going to have different tones. So I do whatever I do on my face, I do on my neck as well. So this is what my face looks like after washing out the face skin. And this is, I figured I didn't show you the brush. This is the brush I used and the battery is dead. So... I just had to use it manually without the battery so this is it and it has an extra brush in it so that's it so I'm using my Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water I'm using it to clean my face I'm gonna apply this with a cotton ball You have to extend it to your forehead and your airline. I like to apply it on my neck because whatever I do on my face, I love to do on my neck as well. Look at the deck. I just add my bath, I use my cleanser, I use my acne wash, I still have some beds on it so it's really important like this step is important you never can tell what dirt is on your face you just have to use a cleansing water so now I'm just gonna go over my eye So next thing I'm going to do is to use my Maxcology 24K Gold Toner. I'm just going to use a few drops of this. So I like to blend with my fingers because I'll be able to penetrate well and I can blend to any extent. Like I can go under my eyelid and all of that. So I'm just going to blend with my finger. Like I'm just applying it all over my face. I'm spreading it around my face. Like I said, I love to extend whatever I used to my neck area so everything is even.
I'm just gonna use my um, serum it's the same brand it takes oil away from my face that's one of the reasons I use this regularly I'm just gonna massage it gently into my skin I'm gonna be doing it in an upward motion When I don't want to do any makeup on my face, I just want to go out without makeup. I use this and I have that glowy look. It's really nice, guys, especially in the summertime. The next thing I'm going to do is to use my MAC Lip Conditioner Eye Brand. I'm just going to apply a little portion of it on my lip. So this is what my face looks like after the whole process. That's my regular morning routine. This is what I do to my face face it gives me that flawless look so if i have like some spots coming out like at that time of the month and you have some spots trying to come out or something like some pimples i just apply all of this and that's it i don't get the dark spots it doesn't um come out excessively it minimizes the way it comes out and that is all I do to control um, acne, to control whatever that comes out on my face. Usually my nose is uh, my nose surface is rough, so applying all of this keeps it smooth. And I, I've been using it for a while, and it's been working for me. But my face wash, my Neutrogena face wash, is really good for acne, guys. It's really good. I use it often. I use it a lot. I use it every day. For over two years, I've been using it and I've been getting good results. So, actually, it's almost three years now and it's good. So, I'm just going to use um, my foundation. I drew my eyebrow off camera to keep this video short since it's just like a get ready with me so I'm not going to go into details of my makeup so now I'm just blending my makeup with my beauty blender I'm just gonna blend all around my face and make sure everything is perfectly blended Now I'm going to use um, concealer, just a light shade of concealer to um, do my highlights. So I'm applying it with my beauty blender. I'm blending it all the way to my highlight because I'm not doing any eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply a transition color there and that's it. So I'm blending my under eye and my highlight with the concealer just to do a kind of highlight on my face. Now I'm going to use my MAC powder, MAC Studio Fix powder to blend the highlighted areas of my face. I'm just going to blend that really well. I'm trying to blend my forehead area just to make sure everything is well blended. Now I'm doing my contour. I'm using a darker shade of powder to do the contour. I'm just going to blend all the way to my airline and forehead region as well. So the reason I do that is just to define my forehead. There's a way my face looks when I do that. So I really like to do it. Like I love to take attention away from that part of my face. Now I'm doing my blush. I'm just using a pinkish color. I usually do that as my blush slash bronzer. I'm 
So the next thing that I'm going to do is to define my contour. You've been seeing this in my previous videos. I'm just going to use my setting powder. This is Beauty by AD setting powder. I'm going to use it to set, um, to define my contour. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this already. Now I'm applying it on my nose bridge and a little portion of it on the highlighted part of my face. I'm just gonna blend to my neck now I'm blending my nose bridge I'm just trying to like do the contour with a dark shade of powder not too dark just something a bit darker than my skin tone to define my nose contour and that's what I'm doing right now so now I'm just applying a little bit of transition color on my highlight because I didn't want to leave my highlight all empty because this look is a simple look it's just like a regular look that I can do to class like everyday makeup so I'm not doing too much on my eyeshadow I'm just using a transition color on my highlight and my crease area so that's the only thing I'll be doing for my eyeshadow I'm just going to blend really well to make sure everything is well blended out and there is no ash line. I'm just adding a little bit of shimmer in my inner corner. This is like an eye opener just to like create attention to that part of my eye. So it's nothing serious. So now I'm using my Hello Girl on the highliner to line my high. I love this pencil a lot. And I'm fixing my eyelashes now. I had to fix the other one off camera to keep the video shut. So I'm just going to blend out my setting powder, the ones I used to define my contour to set my highlight and every other part so now i'm just applying um an highlighter on my nose bridge i'm doing that with my finger and then blending out with a brush so that's what i'm doing here i'm just trying to make sure it's well blended Next thing I'm going to do is to use my iconic highlighter. It's like illuminator. So it's a liquid illuminator. I'm just going to apply it and blend on my cheekbone because I, I wasn't quite satisfied with the glow on my cheekbone. So I had to use that and I blended it with my finger. If you want to blend the liquid illuminator, you just have to tap. Don't drag because if you drag it, it's going to come messy. And you don't want that to happen so you just have to you know just tap 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 and that's it so now I'm just gonna apply um, a bronzer on my lip is like a bronzer kind of look and like some sort of highlighter it's shimmery and I'm just applying it on my lips area I, I didn't want anything too dramatic and I'm just gonna set with a makeup fix so i'm done with my makeup and now i'm just laying my front air edges it's just um little part of it i'm doing i'm not doing so much of it because this is like a six by six closure it's not a frontal so i didn't really bring out my edges i just did about one on each side of the um parts so guys this is a finished look i hope you enjoyed the video please say yes so if you did hit the like button if you want to subscribe to my channel please subscribe because i love new subscribers thank you for watching my video guys bye